Hello and welcome back everyone. Did you know which is the world's largest engine? How many bacteria are there in the world? Or that wearing a tie might not be good for your brain? Welcome to Amazing Anomalies. The world belongs to bacteria. According to a scientific article in the US National Library of Medicine, there are currently about 5 million trillion trillion bacteria in the world. Although the average bacterium has a diameter of 0.50 micrometers and is only about to micrometers long, if you were skilled enough, you could arrange them into a bacterial thread stretching a billion like years. Wow! You can't see this bacterial thread with the naked eye because a micrometer is about 100 times thinner than a human hair. But again, if you were skilled enough, you could wrap this bacterial thread around the Milky Way galaxy about 3,000 times. At this point, the bacterial thread would form a ribbon about 1.5 millimeters wide, enough for it to capture light from the galaxy so you could see it with the naked eye. If a billion light years is too abstract for you, try this. If we packed all the bacteria on Earth into a cube, assuming it wouldn't collapse under its weight, we have a bacterial cube with sides of 12.5 kilometers. If you placed it in the sky over New York, it would look like this. Meanwhile, if you did the same with all 8 billion people on Earth, the human cube would have sides of less than 1 kilometer. It sounds unbelievable because how can things so small that they're invisible be so numerous? Well, imagine this. Bacteria are present in almost every corner of the planet. They exist on rocks, in soil, in water, in radioactive waste, deep within the Earth's crust, and even in ice and hot springs. They live in all habitats, including inside other living organisms, and even in your mouth and intestines. Forming bacterial megacities that are a few micrometers to 1,000 micrometers equivalent to one millimeter thick is stick to all surfaces, which we call biofilms. The slime on your shower head, under the toilet rim, or on the bathroom drain is biofilm, bacterial megacities. Millions of these inhabitants live everywhere humans can live and even in places where no human can survive. Bacteria are found in the stratosphere at altitudes of 7 to 50 kilometers and at depths of 11 kilometers below the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The largest and most powerful engine. An engine on the world's largest container ships must be powerful and massive. Introducing the Wartzilla 1 for our T-Flex 96C, the world's largest and most powerful piston engine. This monster is a low-speed, two-stroke, turbocharged diesel engine manufactured by the Finnish company Wartzilla. It sounds like Godzilla, doesn't it? No wonder it's as big as a monster. Oh no, no, it's not meant to power the mechanical monster Mega Godzilla, but is designed specifically for super container ships with a capacity of over 15,000 containers, like the Maersk Triple E class. It's 13.5 meters tall, 26.59 meters long, and weighs over 2,300 tons. To put it in perspective, four of these engines would weigh about the same as the Eiffel Tower. It's so large that they need many stairs and elevators for engineers to move around during manufacturing. Many components of this engine weigh more than most conventional human vehicles. For example, the piston is 6 meters long and weighs 5.5 tons, while the crankshaft weighs 300 tons, about the size of ET55 tanks. According to published information, the displacement of one cylinder of this engine is up to 1,828.7 liters, and the inner diameter of each cylinder is nearly one meter. And if you're sad, you could jump in and take a bath. The Wartzilla one for our T-Flex 96C has 14 cylinders, meaning the total displacement of this engine is up to 25 1,600 liters. If used to hold water, it would be enough for a household of five people to use for a whole month, and maybe even longer. According to published information, this engine consumes 250 tons, but that's definitely not a waste. This engine produces a maximum power output of 107,390 horsepower. That's equivalent to about 1,000 small cars and enough to propel a ship carrying hundreds of tons at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. And if you're just astonished and bewildered, 
Don't sit up just yet. This engine produces a maximum torque of 7.6 million newton meters at a maximum speed of 100 to revolutions per minute. Now you understand why it's called a low speed engine. It's equivalent to over 50,000 of the small cars mentioned earlier. The harm of wearing a necktie. The necktie is one of the iconic accessories for men, representing maturity, wealth, and nobility. However, a 2018 study on 30 people, half of whom wore neckties, indicated that wearing a necktie has negative effects on blood vessels in the brain. Specifically, MRI images showed that wearing a tie too tightly can compress the jugular veins and carotid arteries, reducing blood flow to the brain by 7.5% which can cause headaches, dizziness, and nausea. Previously, it has been proven that a tie tied to tightly can also increase pressure on the eyes. Additionally, the accessory that scientists have likened to socially desirable strangulation can also become a potential breeding ground for germs. Feel free to leave your comments below. As always, remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And now, Goodbye and see you again.